Hello and welcome again to Keith's workshop, Clint's, Clint's workshop, I should say. I, <coughs> excuse me. I'm very pleased that you managed to join me again today. And I'm going to follow on from where we left off last week. If you remember, um, just to remind you, we looked at the hypograph tattoo machine, which I said was a very special one. And I... I mentioned the fact that it's about the tattoo machine in the workshop. Well, what, what, what about it? It's ridiculous. I know some of you think that. So <clears throat> today I'm going to follow on and show you how we can use it in the workshop as a deburring machine. So what, what, I, what you do is I'll take this off. I'm left with this. Now... <clears throat> You can also drill holes with it. But what we need to do first is we have to have an adapter that goes onto the drive shaft, which is that that's the drive shaft, the spindle. So we have to make this. And in um, those people who have, have uh, enrolled in the uh, Clint's E, I can't say it, <laughs> those are enrolled and, and for free. We have enrolled in uh, TCAS, that's the technical assistant section of my uh, uh, channel, my video channel. And via my website, you must go onto the website, and you can do that by logging onto the, um, <clears throat> the, the link that's on this video that you're watching now, right at the, the end, uh, where it says select, uh, it says select um, about about us, about me. And you'll see in blue, it'll say Keith Langley International. Click onto that, get straight to the website, go to the about uh, contact us page and just fill in the details and you can join for free. How's that? Uh, that's not bad, is it? But anyway, um, what I'm going to do is to, we've got to, we've got to make uh, an adapter for that. Hang about. I'm not I'm not going to make the adapter today, but in good Blue Peter fashion, this is one I made earlier. <laughs> yeah, so that's an adapter I made earlier for the hypergraph, and um, um, we can fit it on. I'll show you how we do it. So it's designed to fit on to there. Like so. And then a little grub screw. And I find it there. Which just locks it into position. Whoops. Slips. So we don't want it flying off. Don't have to be too, just, just to nip it up, and that's that. So, what we've got now is an adapter, like a little chuck, isn't it? So, what we can do then is to fit various um, burrs for deburring and rotary files, and even drills, because you can get, uh, when you get these sort of things which are variations on that's a rotary file, for instance. Uh, and then you've got different shaped ones. That's a sort of a cone. Oops, that's a, a conical shaped one. So you can see it, yeah. Yes, conical shaped one. And uh, then we've got a, an angled one, like a little dovetailed one. Can you see that? Yeah. So, and you get a selection of these. And, you know, they're quite inexpensive, really. And uh, the type of things that you could use in, with the gemmels. But you have to make sure that you get the right, the same section. But you can get drills, different sizes, that uh, all have the same shank that will fit into here. So what I'm going to do now, <coughs> excuse me, we'll put the... This, this is that rotary, rotary file one, okay, 
see it? Right. It's very useful deburring tool. Um, I used it a lot in the workshop. So let's lock that into position. There's another little screw there. So when you when you come to I know I have I made this and I didn't think it would have any use in a workshop but I thought I think it can be so I just devised this and I use it all the time. It's really 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 good and it, it, it only weighs about uh, eighty five grams or something like that. It's very light to use and you just plug it in and whoop I want to show you. Okay. Uh, let's find something to deburr. Um, let me find something here. Whoops. Yeah, I've got a little little device here, a little thing. But I want to take the sharp edges off, off there, after machining. Sometimes it leaves sharp edges off, on. And then we want to get them off. Okay, so we'll plug this in. <coughs> this is plug, plugged into the controller that we used last week, and um, so it's the same the same thing. And there we go. See. So you can see that now. So what I'm going to do is to first of all little piece of packing that I cut to uh, the tool height wanted adjusting just about that amount. But when I cut it off there were some sharp edges on here. So oops, let me you can't see it there. Oh. Yeah, you can see it now. Look. And it takes the sharp edges off so you don't cut yourself when you're handling it. When I say you don't cut yourself, when I when I cut this piece off, it left a sharp edge. And I actually cut my finger before I, before I, I use this tool. But it does take the sharp edges off, and you can use that's the rotary file, and that's that one. And then, if you look at this one here, we've got edges on that that we can deburr. Most useful deburring tool, I'll tell you. And you can see the pieces coming off it. But they are they are coming off, you'll see them on this on this white uh, sheet I've got there. Okay. Anyway, that deburs that. <coughs> <coughs> and <coughs> Oops. <coughs> I'm doing that. You can't see it because I forgot to raise it up. That's the trouble when you when you're doing the, the camera work as well. Anyway, there you go. That's that one. And then, if you want to use it as a rotary file <coughs> on a different type of uh, on a flat surface, for instance, then you can. If you look at this here. There's some marks on that edge there, on, on, the, on that surface, and they, they're sort of just old machining marks and things that uh, were done in a matter of, of course, they weren't there intentionally, they just, they just got marks and things. So, but what you can do if you wanted to get rid of the, if you want to get rid of those marks, you can use this rotary file. So. When is a tattoo machine, not a tattoo machine? When it's a hypergraph and rotary file and drill. <laughs> so on those scratch marks there, you can see them. Yeah. 
You can use it like this. I'm trying to get the right angle for you. You might be able to see the bits flying off. See, it's cleaning it up. And these are, these are quite deep, quite deep marks. Um, I'll try to adjust the angle so I can get a better picture for you. Yeah. Just adjust the height of it. Right there. Yeah, that's good. I'm sure you can see pieces flying off it now. It's going quite fast. And then it's just firing it off. Locally. This is just let just let you know what you can what you can do. You see the marks at this at the other side of it? They're they're quite deep. Uh yeah, quite deep over there. Um, at the other side of it. Whoops. At that bottom side of it there. So I'm, I'm concentrating on this piece here. And... <laughs> you can see it's quite effective. So... Let me switch it off a bit. So it, yeah, you can see it's quite effective, and um, just trying to get a better shot of what we've done so far. It's reflecting off the uh, off the material with it being. This is aluminium actually, but the um, it works on steel as well. Um, for instance, uh, even stainless steel. <coughs> This is a stainless steel nozzle that was on the hypercraft that we've been looking at. And when you, when you machine those parts there, they're really sharp edges there. So, uh, <coughs> somewhere just the light. Um, switch on. So when these sharp edges, when I, I milled these, these, these sections in here, so as I say, stainless steel, and just just deburs it, so it's it's not sharp when you when you're handling it. It's good. Uh, so you do the same on the other side. Uh, let's see. Can't get the angle right on the, on the camera. But. So it needs, and that's stainless steel. Now, believe me, when, it, when I first machined, they were quite pronounced sharp edges, so it, it will get them off. So it doesn't matter if this material is stainless steel, mild steel, or, or, uh, or aluminium. The, the rotary file will do it. So, when is a tattoo? When is a hypograph? Not a hypograph. A tattoo machine. It's when it's a rotary file and drilling machine. So, there you go. That's that one. Um, but also, I'll give you another example. Um, this is the one I did earlier. Deburred that, it's a block of aluminium, it's got sharp edges on uh, from uh, from milling. And we've got one here, uh, a groove down this, the middle sort of thing. It, it's for nothing in particular, it was just a, sort of a test piece for something. So we can uh, just Can you see that? Can you see the material coming off? So it, it's taking it off that sharp. That's it. It's taking it off the uh, that sharp. That sharp edge. It's taking the sharp edge off. Right. 
And there's there's other, there's others others what you can what you can do as well. Uh, just to show you the difference, I've put the uh, a different a, a different tool into there. So let's have a look at this uh, this particular one. That's the like the dovetail the dovetail one. So you can see it now. Yeah, that one. So we'll have a look at that one. <coughs> uh, put this off. Oops. There we go. Uh, slot it in. Tied it up with the other key. We'll switch on. And now this this one is more appropriate for this particular application than the rotary file because it's uh, got more uniform uh, serrations where I want them to uh, just want them to be. So a little bit of practice. Because it can get into awkward awkward places. You know parts that other other tools can't reach with it being small. So anyway, that's it. Rotary file, deburring machine, drilling machine. You know, just small holes in, in, in plastic or, or lesser resistant materials, for instance aluminium. And, um, and there you go. So I'll switch this off. Uh, we'll put this away. <coughs> what I'd like to do is to... Uh, do you remember that machine over there? That's a siege milling machine. We, we did a, an, an article on that a uh, sh short while ago <coughs> to uh, adapt it to make a, a, mod a modification, a very cheap modification. But we're also going to look at something else on that, which is, I don't think you can see it from here, um, but it has uh, this there. Uh, on the base of it, it's, it's got... Um, adjusting blocks, okay, and it, it's mounted on a um, vibration resistant rubber mat. And the, the we're going to look at the, the adjusting blocks, how to make those and adjust them to get them level, okay. So, in, in the meantime, thanks for watching, check it out, and um. Uh, they, I'll check the video out, there it is, and what we can do is um, look at it next week, no, not next week, it may be a bit later, but it will be coming up shortly, so keep watching, thanks for watching, subscribe to it if, if you will, and if you do like this video and what, what it's all about, give us a like as well, spread it amongst your friends, thanks very much for watching, see you next time, bye.